In these uncertain economic times, many Americans have made a shift in how they handle their finances, according to a recent study conducted by Fidelity Investments. Stacy Watson is the Senior Vice President of Life Events Planning. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. I'm really interested in what prompted the survey, the study in the first place. Well, this is a study that we've been doing for 14 years wow. on New Year's financial resolutions. And one of the things that's interesting is for the first time that we in those 14 years, we're seeing that people are actually saving, focused on saving for the short term versus the long term. What prompted all of that? Well, if you look, the record high inflation is uh, it was the top financial setback in 2022, and it remains a top concern for people in 2023. And the other thing that's high on people's lists is economic uncertainty. I would say that overall, Americans are really proceeding with caution right now, and they're making very practical resolutions. Well, can you give us an example of some of those practical resolutions? I think that would be helpful for all of us. Well, the resolutions that we're seeing are similar to prior years. Save more, spend less, and pay down debt. I think part of the key is finding a balance between the here and now and longer term goals like college or buying a home because really pursuing our dreams is what makes it all worthwhile. And let's talk about, um, you know, especially if you're a young person, are you finding that younger uh, couples are thinking about retirement age and planning toward that? Yeah, and, and younger couples have, or younger people have a longer runway where they can think about their longer term goals. The other thing that's interesting we found in the study about younger people is they tend to be more optimistic and many of them think that 2023 is actually going to be a better year for them uh, financially than 2022. And is it because they are determined to make this shift? Do you think that's the reason for the positive attitude? I, you know, we, we didn't ask them why uh, they actually think that. But again, younger people have a longer period of time where they can work on saving, they can set aside uh, money for their longer term dreams. They just have a longer runway. Do you, and I'm sure this is the case with your company, do you as a life events planning uh, expert and your company have a, a website of information or booklets or pamphlets or any kind of guidance for the public to uh, grab hold of and review for themselves? Absolutely. One of the things that we find is that people who have a financial plan have this greater sense of control, even when the rest of the world feels like it's out of control. And also we find that people with a plan tend to be more confident in their ability to achieve their goals. So we have a wealth of resources to help you navigate really anything that life throws at you, expected or unexpected. That could be uh, going through a job change or experiencing a divorce, or maybe you're caring for an aging loved one. The other thing I would say is that January is Financial Wellness Month. And at Fidelity, we have a host of daily tips, interactive tools, and virtual special events that are all focused on financial well-being. And you can find all of those tools and resources at fidelity.com slash financial wellness. Stacey Watson, thank you so much for being with us. Great advice. Thanks for having me. And more lifestyles right after this. Stick around.